taking a quick video here at uh, I guess I'm at like full goose uh, lean to but last night yesterday story spirit and I had a pretty full day of hiking hiked up uh, Mount Mahusik which is one of the big ones in um, southern Maine and we hiked up at 10 miles, 10.4 miles, and we get to this speck pond, and we're both pretty tired, and it's around 5 o'clock. There's a caretaker there. I bust out my food, you know, make some pasta right away. Caretaker comes over, tells us, you know, it's going to be $10 to stay the night, which isn't real doesn't make me real happy because all the lean tos are the same so the amc which is sometimes uh referred to as the appalachian money club is telling me it's going to be 10 bucks to stay at this place spec pond was cool the, the pond comes right up to the edge of the um trail but we're sitting there it's like 5 40 there's a mist coming off the pond it's getting darker going up that big mountain that we just climbed uh, like 2,500 foot over like, you know, four and a half miles. Looks like it's going to start raining. And what's ahead of me is Mahusik Arm, which is really steep decline for us. You know, we'd be descending it. And then Mahusik Notch, which is the longest uh, mile on the AT. It's a big boulder field. And I'm asking the you know guy, the caretaker, what he thinks about me, you know, trying to do it. He said, saying how he wouldn't do it, you know. But I'm trying to get more information out of him, uh, just about what I can expect, and uh, you know, just continues to say, oh yeah, I wouldn't do it if I were you, blah 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 blah. And then you know, says something like, oh well, I can't say for you, I hike 45 miles a day. I'm like, Psh. you're saying that I can't hike 45 miles a day, which I can't, you know, at this point, but it's like, it is what it is. And I just felt like I could do it. I felt like I wanted to get to the next shelter. I didn't want to spend the money. I wanted to be, you know, ahead the next day, the shorter day today, all these things. I'm like, I'm going to do it. So I pack up 540, you know, it gets dark at like 830, 840. And people are saying, you know, the notch can take a couple hours just for one mile. That's why the longest mile. I The first point nine, I felt like, you know, I'm walking across the top of this mountain. Felt like 20 minutes. Pew! You know, I'm like freaking cooking. And then I go down the arm and they're like, oh, joking. Like, oh, you're going to slide down the arm. Well, I fly down the arm. I only felt like maybe once or twice. And it's raining, you know, misting, raining kind of out at this point, too. But the mist, like, you know, was being caused by a pond. It, it, it was, like, uh, raining. But I fly, oh, I fly down the arm. I'm, like, you know, trying to get to this notch by 7 o'clock. Well, I get to the notch by 7 o'clock. The south or the north bounders are telling me, the guys that are good hikers that have been hiking since Georgia are saying it took 45 minutes. And I'm, like, you know. It'll take me an hour. I get through, you know, I'm climbing over these boulders. I'm like flying through this notch, like, you know, lifting my, you know, self up like six foot and down six foot. Some places they they all said they took their packs off three times. I took my pack off one time. I'm like, you know, just like on a mission here because it's, you know, I don't want it to get cold and dark and me not to be able to find the trail. And it wasn't even marked that well. So, but I'm moving through this thing. I thought I had finished. I got some water and something to eat. And I'm like, 40 minutes, man. 7.03, I jumped in here. 7.43, oh yeah, you know, got some water. And then it went on a little bit. It took me about like an hour total till I got out to the sign that said 1.5. It was only 5.1 to the next shelter. That's why I thought I could do it. Um, and so it's like 8.15, you know, when I start to climb up, there's another, unfortunately, another steep uh, um, ascent that I had to make before I got to the shelter. But, you know, to 
this point, I'm like thanking God and saying, this is for you, my friends and family. Like, I freaking did it, man. You'll be proud of me how fast I got through this freaking, uh, you know, through the arm and the notch. And when, you know, some people sometimes say like, oh, I want to do it or I don't think that you can do it. But I just had this feeling that I could do it. And uh, I'm all right about it and everything, but uh, I just want to thank all you guys for all the time that you've spent, you know, with me, helping me to become the person that I am. And uh, I'm just going to keep on hiking and hopefully, you know, you guys are proud and I, I continue to do. But, you know, it was 15 and a half yesterday, which isn't that much, but. um to be able to uh, do the arm and the notch right before dark when it's rainy and he already hiked 10 miles like and everyone's saying oh I don't think that you should do it like meant a lot I got into the lean to walking into the camp by headlamp first time you know I've done that the lean to is huge I get up to it and all I see is reflective. The whole cover is full of packs and I'm like, or bags. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, the most uh, the ones I've ever been in a lean to is like three. And there's like 12 to 15 people. I walk over to a place where there's this like uh, rain fly up and the, one of the chaperones of this, it's a ski club. Uh, he's like, hey, man, there's space under here if you, because I was like, oh, man, but I was laying in bed by, like, 9.30, eating some snacks, and I uh, got some more snacks in the morning. Oh, man, it's like, yeah, man, I did it. Southbound John. And uh, I'm going to send a message ahead to that caretaker that in Virginia I'm going to do 45 miles, too, so, uh, you know, he can, he can rest easy knowing that I didn't die in a notch. I actually did it in an hour, and I uh, took a late start today, but this is a long video, but I'm just like, you know, I hope that you guys are proud of me, you know, for doing some of this stuff, and I'm just going to keep on pushing, and, you know, we, don't, we only do it because we're used to it sort of thing, and uh, keep on cranking them out, and uh, have fun, and carry on.